Hey guys and welcome to Ragman's 13th task, So at Good Part 3. So for this one you need to get yourself two four armors and hat them over in two different type of conditions. Now the same with the So at Good Part 2. You can't really get this armor anywhere specific. There are a few mannequins inside of Interchange like the generic and inside Kibber that has a chance of spawning four armor, the 6B436A armor. They, there is a small chance that they can spawn in there, but I wouldn't confirm that is a guaranteed spawn. So you need to hand them in with 0-50% to 50 condition and 50-100% to 100 condition. Now I'd always recommend going to the flea market, especially for these type of tasks, because it can actually come, like, can kind of cheat the armor task for you. So if we go 6B43, now there's a lot here available, they're very expensive, mainly due to the end of the wipe so all the armors are just mentally priced right now so what you need to do is get one zero to 50 and one 50 to 100 so with four armor they're out of 80 so for the zero to 50 percent the armor needs to be between zero and 40 armor points and then the 50 to 100 is 40 to 80. now here's a little trick which basically does the task for you so if you go to the little cog at the top and see where it says condition from 0 to 100 percent so if we just type in 49 percent this will show you all the armors in the condition below 50 percent so you can always buy one of these like i said the, the price right now is absolutely mental and i don't understand why it's so expensive right now i mean it's the end of the wipe and the events going on so i kind of guess that's where it's going from so this is the 1 to 40 and then if we click the cog wheel again and type in 51% and then click OK. This will show all the armors that are 50% or greater up to 100%. So you've got ranging numbers here. So this is just an easy way to do this task. You can also get a friend to shoot you inside a friend because friendly fire is on in this game. You can get a friend to shoot you inside of a raid and then you can just tell him to stop when you reach a certain level of durability. But I wouldn't really recommend it as the you know you always have a chance of losing it especially in the early game where it's worth quite a bit of cash not this much but definitely around about the 100 to 200k mark hopefully you guys found this guide useful and i'll see you in the next video